from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for May 2024. So on May 7th, and in some places, May 8th, we are going to have our new moon taking place in Taurus energy. So it is taking place on May 7th at 1122 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So again, depending on your time zone, it actually may be in the wee hours of Wednesday morning, May 8th. Regardless, the new moon in Taurus is popping off at 18 degrees. So we are kind of in a halfway chapter, if you will, taking us back to about a year and a half ago. And again, we will continue this particular chapter for another year to bring in into full completion the new long-term goals that we are currently trying to piece together, that we're trying to plan out, that we're trying to strategize around in order for us to bring those particular aspects to life. So of course, I am going to recommend that if you haven't already, take a listen to the May energy forecast, download your zodiac forecast so that you understand where this particular moon event is taking place in your life, the area of your life that will be most impacted and influenced by this particular new moon event and of course you know if you got your Taurus season e-guide available open to this particular energy shift and capture what is going on for you there is also a new moon guide episode if you want to do a deep dive in your chart in this particular astrology event that would definitely be the resource that I would encourage you to dive into the most either way all of us collectively we're in a brand new reality. Take a good look around. We are trying to figure out, especially seeing as this new moon in Taurus officially closes the door on eclipse season, what it is that we are going to do now. What we have to build, what we have to create, what we have to focus on, what we have to kind of position ourselves in the direction of, because there are new aspects under this new moon in Taurus that are going to be illuminated, that we are going to be pursuing for the long term. We have to understand that Venus is in her rulership over this particular moon event. She, of course, in her rulership in Taurus energy, in her rulership over Taurus season. And now she's in her rulership for the third time over this moon event. So Venus being the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, we just went through a wake up, a shake up in eclipse season where the masculine energies, Mars, ruled over the Aries part of the eclipse energy. Venus, the feminine energy, ruled over the Libra part of that eclipse energy. We had major wake ups and shake ups, especially where relationships are concerned. And now we're starting to reevaluate what it is that we have to do from here. So the new moon in Taurus, of course, is a fixed earth sign. We have a lot of heaviness, a lot of weight taking place right now because we have to be present in our physical forms. We have to be as present as possible in our physical form in order to figure out by this reflection and reevaluation what actually makes us happy, what actually brings us joy, what actually makes us feel safe and secure and stable in our lives and really focusing in on how we can create a space for more of those particular things to exist. So yes, we are in touch with our five senses we are in touch with nature we are in touch with our bodies and sometimes that may be very uncomfortable but we have to get a grip on life as it is instead of the way that we wish it was and so this is an earth energy this is slowing us down we have to have the attitude of gratitude we have to have a deeper appreciation for the things that are working for the things that are making us happy are stabilizing us are making us feel safe and secure and because the new moon is the dark phase of the moon, we're likely kind of, you know, hitting our head against a wall with certain aspects that we just cannot stand, that we don't want to repeat, that we don't want to experience. And from that, we can create a framework, an alternative on what it is that we would prefer to experience instead. Again, leading to the new moon intentions that we are going to watch unfold over the next couple of months. So this is a time to reevaluate yourself. This new version of self just emerged. Now we're trying to get comfortable in this new version of self. But because we have a new vibration, a new frequency, a new level of consciousness that we're operating from, the boundaries need to be tweaked in our lives, especially where relationship dynamics are concerned and money matters are concerned. Again, this Taurus energy is very high up on, you know, kind of stacking up our materialistic possessions 
our resources, if you will. But a lot of the things that we've accumulated, we accumulated in ways that actually didn't bring us happiness or joy or mission or purpose at all. And so because we are now aligned with the higher versions of ourselves, we realize that in order for us to continue doing what we're doing and kind of stacking, you know, our possessions up or whatever the case may be, there's a rearranging of the physical form so that we're only holding on to things that are worthy of being held on to because the deeper mission, the deeper meaning, the deeper purpose puts us in a situation now where we have to kind of reevaluate what it is that we have been doing that we're no longer attached to versus what it is that we need to be doing in order to kind of fulfill the wounds, the voids, the, you know, the calling within us. And so this is going to be a new moon for us to do just that. So of course, if you want to take part in the moon guide, you're definitely going to have a lot more information thrown at you in that particular episode. Uh, but one of the major highlights under this particular new moon is that we're aligning with Uranus and there is some supporting energies with Saturn. So Uranus is the great awakener, spontaneous changes, disruptions in order to put us on a different path. And Saturn, of course, is about roles and responsibilities and bossing up and building something new. And so there is this friction taking place because it's a fixed earth sign. Taurus energy is a fixed earth sign. We know that we want to make some changes, but we resist and hesitate to make them. Again, with Pluto now retrograde in Aquarius energy, we're more open to taking a good look at where it is that we're the problem. We're blocking ourselves. Our resistance, our hesitancy to make changes is the actual issue slowing up the progress, if you will. And so the Uranian energy is trying to like jolt us into opening up our mind to see where it is that we could do things differently. Saturn is kind of applying a little bit of pressure for us to boss up in some big ways because there is a process that's going on here where we're in an awkward stage of adjustment where we need to tap into a new level of patience in order for us to see that we can't do things the way that we did them in the past. That will only continue to give us the results that we're currently not happy with. And so in order to create a different result, we have to do things differently, but there's a huge part of us that is just resisting doing new things. And so this is where the potency of the Taurus energy is going to have us going back and forth and back and forth in this reevaluation of our lives so that we can figure out where it is that we're the problem, where it is that we can jump out of the way of our own damn selves and actually start making some solid and realistic plans to kind of move forward, to make these changes, to set the stage for these long long-term goals and visions that we absolutely want to be reaping the rewards of, but that we can't start benefiting from until we get out of our own damn way. And again, this is setting the tone on the path, the direction that we're looking to take that will essentially put us into blast off mode under the full moon and Sag that we're going to be having here in a couple of weeks. So overall, there is a lot of push and pull going on under Neath this new moon in Taurus, we are dominant in earth energy. So again, heaviness, weighted, being present in the physical body and very focused on what needs to change here in this physical realm. Of course, if you have uh, any personal planets whatsoever in the around the 18 degrees of Taurus or Scorpio or Aquarius or Leo, this one is definitely going to rub you more intensely than other positions would be. But again, I am going to recommend that you jump over, that you join the moon guide so that you can dissect your own chart and understand what planetary placements are being aspected and what that actually means for you. An overwhelming amount of presence. And although we all need to be a little bit present, more present in our lives, sometimes to be this present and be aware of the realm, the reality in which you've created that you're no longer impressed with, that you're no longer attached to, sometimes that's the reality check that we need in order to get out of our own damn way and to try something new. 